it doesn't get any more maritimes than this. Check out this awesome home. We've got two levels of decks. We're going to take some views from the top deck. We have this detached garage. This property is configured like an L shape. I'll put that on the listing uh, package on the website. This property extends all the way from there back to there and sort of along behind that gray building there. From this spot here, you'll be able to watch the fishing boats coming and going. It's pretty cool. Welcome to the inside. This room here actually looks at where I was standing in the yard. So you've got the same views. You'll have even better views from upstairs. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, newer windows that drop down to the floor, newer deck. There's been a lot of improvements done in this home. Next to the sunroom is this kitchen. Take special note of the hardwood floors. They look pretty rustic, pretty original. And this opens up to the hallway over here. The sunroom is behind us. The hallway separates one of the gathering rooms in the front. We've got a washer dryer here. That door opens up to the garage and we've got the stairs to the second story. This would be the living room, which is a gathering spot. It faces the main paved road. Uh, you saw that on our initial shot. Beautiful little piano here, hardwood floors. The main entrance is right there. You've got some beautiful cast iron rags, original plaster walls, and we've got a half bathroom here in front of me. This room here is separated with French doors. It faces the waterfront, and we've got some beautiful uh, plaster details here. That's what I love about these old houses. They actually dipped here about the finished product, and it looks pretty good. We're on the second story here. We've got four bedrooms. And we've got a common bathroom there. And we're going to go into the, what I would call the master bedroom here first. Because it's pretty well the neatest one. I would consider this the master bedroom. It opens up to a sunroom. We're on the second level here. And we're going to go out on top of the second level deck. Now up on the second level deck. It can't possibly get more Atlantic Canada than this. You've got the wharf. You've got the fishing boat. It looks like it's going out. You've got the fishery. It's very cool. This property also has a second property where the orange building is to my right that can be purchased as a package. So you'd have two waterfront parcels, the house, and an older building that could be converted into a artist's den, something, I don't know. It could be converted into something. Bedroom number two sits right beside the master bedroom. And again, you get a pretty good view of the wharf and the fishing boats. Bedroom number three sits on the road front, and you look right at the Georgetown Inn, which is an awesome spot to stay if you're ever coming to Georgetown. We'll check out the, uh, the bathroom here next. It's a full bathroom. You've got a surround tub, shower, sink, toilet, and you've got some pretty cool looking wooden doors. On the third floor, we basically have three smaller bedrooms. This could probably be a good area to convert to other use, or if you want to keep four bedrooms, that's fine too. You'll have a total of eight. This is one of the bedrooms that's on the third floor. They're all very similar in size, and this one here has a view out onto the water. 